Good morning, today's lesson is 10.7. Composite figures, our essential question, how can you find the area of a composite figure? figure? A composite figure is made up of two or more simpler figures, such as triangles and quadrilaterals. Let's unlock the problem. The new entryway to a fun house at Happy World Amusement Park is made from shapes shown in the diagram. It will be painted bright green. Juanita needs to know the area of the entryway to determine how much paint to buy. What is the area of the entryway? Well, first we find, need to find the area of the entryway, and the way to do that is by breaking up into shapes that we know how to find the area. So we have our rectangle, our square, another rectangle, and two triangles. So we know that the area of the rectangle is base times height. We know the area of the square is base times height, or S squared. And we know that the area of the triangles are base times height divided by two. So, all right, so we're gonna take this part one at a time. So first, we're gonna find the area <clears throat> of the rectangle. So we've got one rectangle, right? So if I find the area of this rectangle, I can add it to the area of this rectangle, right? Then I'm gonna find the area of these triangles, and I'm gonna find the area of this, and I'm gonna add all of those pieces together. So my formula for the rectangle, remember? My formula for the rectangle is area equals length times width. Well, if I'm looking here, my length times width is 10 times four because here is Here's my length, right? It's 10 times four, and that's 40, right? And there are two rectangles, one, two, so 40 plus 40 is 80. So I know that these two things together are gonna be 80 square feet, right? So now I need to find the area of these triangles, okay? So if I write my formula for that, remember it's half base times height or base times height divided by two. Okay, so now I'm gonna look up here and my, um, I have four feet tall and four feet wide, right? Because right here it's showing four feet and right there is four feet. So it's gonna be four times four, which is 16, divided by two, which is eight, right? And I have two triangles, so eight plus eight is 16 square feet. So now all I have to find out is the area of that little square up there. And remember the little, so my formula for that, it's base times height, or you can just say S squared, right? The two sides together, okay? And one is uh, four, one side was four, the other side was four, right? So four squared is 16 feet. So now I have all the little pieces, right? I know that this is 16 feet. I know that these two together is 80, and I know that these two together was, um, was that 16 I think yes so now we're gonna put it all together so we've got 80 feet plus the 16 plus the 16 equals 112 so our in order to buy enough paint we need 112 square feet okay very similar to this one we've got our basic shape over here and we have a square we have our triangle, we've got a trapezoid here, so we need to find out how much the area of this one is, the area of this one is, and the area of this one is, and then we're going to add them up. Okay, so area of a triangle, remember my formula is half base times height, or base times height divided by two. So if I'm looking over here, I've got 16, okay, right here, so 16, okay, and then my height, you can see my height is right here, which is the same as this side, so that's 12. So I've got 16 times 12 divided by two is 12, okay? Then my, um, or which is 96 centimeters. So 16 times 12 and then divided by two is 96 centimeters. So the area of the square, so if I'm looking at my square, my square is 12 times 12, right? 12 times 12 is 144. So this was a 144, right? This one's 96, so now we just need to find the trapezoid. Remember the area of a trapezoid is base one plus base two divided by, or times the height divided by two. So if I'm looking over here, we've got 12 centimeters here plus nine centimeters times six. So 12 plus nine um, times the six, okay? And then you divide that by which, well, nine, nine plus 12 is 21 and then you do 21 times 6 and then you divide that by 2 and you get 63. okay so now let me actually go back up here so this one right here is 63. so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to add the 96 plus the 144 
plus the 63. And that's going to give me my answer. Let me move this out of the way, which is 303. So we've got the 96, right? plus the 144, plus the 63, and that gives me 303 centimeters squared. Okay, example two, find the area of the shaded region. So this is my shaded region, right? So first we have to find the area of the big square, right? Which is um, six inches times one foot. All right, on this one we have to convert because you can't really do inches and feet, right? So one foot is 12 inches. So that should be pretty easy to just remember. Okay, so the area of the big square, the area of the big square is six times 12, right? So 12 times six is 72. Now we gotta find the area of the little square, which is three inches by three inches, and three times three is nine inches. Now that we've got this inside is nine, and then this outside is 72, all I need to do is subtract the outside from the inside to find out how much it is, right? So I'm gonna subtract the 72 minus the nine, and I get 63 inches. So the shaded area without this little circle, the little square in the center is 63 inches squared. Okay, so I wanna remind you, in order to do this, you need to find the area of this rectangle, and there's two of them, so you'd add those together. Then you find the area of this triangle, and you'd add that together. So this plus this plus this. First you need to find this area and this area, okay? Same here, you're gonna find the area for this one, find the area for this one, and the area for this one. This one, you're gonna find the area for this one, the area for that one, and the area for that one. And then you're gonna add all three of them together. Okay, the rest you're gonna do on your own or with a partner, and I'm always there for you as well. Good luck.